Hmm. Joe, that thing is definitely scarfed. Joe, just please don't try to be just a hero. Just quick attack for damage. We need to weaken that water spout. No, I got this shit in the bag. Check this 9,000 IQ playboys. Joe, no. Joe, what the hell are you smoking? Oh, wait. Uh... Joe, you son of a... Hi, everyone. Welcome to this new series Barack Joe and I are doing. This should be very exciting. It certainly will be Donald. Basically, the three of us are going to be taking on the Pokemon Showdown Random Battles Ladder. We are not sure how long this will go on for, but that mainly will just be a product of overall viewer reception. So for those of you who don't know, Pokemon Showdown is a battle simulator website for Pokemon. It is very convenient because you can just select your team without actually having to train them. Random Battles is a very popular metagame on Showdown where you are given an assortment of random Pokemon against another person online who is also given a random assortment of Pokemon. They are balanced by tiers and levels. For example, a random Mewtwo will be much lower level than a random Harry Yama or something. All right, all right, all right. I think they get it, Barack. I will be starting things off for us, and I got to admit, it isn't going too hot. Yeah, going up against the lead Salazzle is menacing. I think this thing has swept me like a bajillion times in Jesus eight. Christ, imagine Toxic stalling a Pachirisu in the first five seconds of the game. All right, Donald, calm down, calm down. No need to get tilted already. Protect two, oh my God. This is a ladder climb. We should be winning the good majority of our early battles. Don't blow this for no reason. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. This guy is going to give me an opening soon enough, and I'm going to outplay the shit out of him. Don't worry, boys. Okay, he's definitely protecting here for that toxic damage, Donald. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, Joe. I'm going to switch into our pile of rocks in the meantime. Nice, good call, Joe. Thanks, Barack. What's next, DT? Rock polish on the toxic. That way we can outspeed and kill afterwards, and then outspeed everything else he has on his team. Send that lizard to the shadow realm, Donnie. He could protect or even switch here, but I agree. Just start Hell attacking. Hell yeah, hold that shit, bozo. Nice, Donald. You've put us at a solid advantage here. Giving up a salazzle that early is not the best move on his part, in my opinion. This dude is already hovering over the forfeit button. I can feel it, guys. Yeah, I would too. Look at this beast of a Pokemon he's up against. It's a pile of rocks that outspeeds his whole team and make that make sense for me, please. Hmm. Okay, that thing will probably live and kill us back, actually. Hmm, yeah, I mean, I could go for the stone miss, but I think I should probably just get the guaranteed damage with heavy slam here. I have a few decent switch-ins afterwards anyway. My team is pretty busted. Yeah, that's some damn good damage. Probably a safe decision, and I would say we are slightly ahead right now, so... Safe plays is usually ideal in this position. All right, you know what, Joe, you're right. Next time, I am definitely clicking Stone Edge. I am not the pussy you are making me out to be right now. All right, well, I would advise against that, Donald. But anyway, who's the switch in now? I think it's got to be Braviary. This is a clear setup opportunity. Careful, Donald. I think this thing gets Ice Spinner. Well, even if it does, I have Bulk Up and Roost. Uh-oh, you turn on the Bulk Up. Let's see the fast electric type switch in. Joe, don't you fucking say that. Oof, Iron Treads. This guy doesn't know we have close combat. Yeah, honestly, this is Jover. I'm still just going to set up. Okay, fair. We shouldn't lower our defenses with CC if we don't kill anyway. In before you get flinched seven times and lose. In before you choke on D's nuts, Joe. Easy roost here. Knock off our boots, buddy. We aren't going anywhere. Yeah, this game is over. I'm about to type FF in the chat. What the hell this thing gets Volt Switch? Yeah, honestly, if he had anything that could counter us here, he would have brought it out on the U-turn earlier. All right, never mind, I what guess. What in the world? Why didn't he go into this earlier? His reasons are beyond your understanding, Donnie. Either way, we can see from our own in the party that its special attack is atrocious. I think I'm fine to stay in and just kill it with close combat. He's probably just trying to cripple you with Nuzzle at this point. Damn. Well, as long as we get this hit off, it's fine with me. Nice and we did. Huge advantage for us here. Yeah, also, if this dude knew the rest of our team, he would have forfeited a long time ago. Facts, Obama. I didn't even register how broken it was until just a second ago. Zacian, Garchomp, and even Mousehold have insane potential to sweep in this meta. Oh, geez, blow this guy to smithereens, Donald. Okay, first of all, pause. But second of all, say less, Joe. Ooh, he's going to paraflinch you down. Nah, this bird represents America. It doesn't get flinched. Easy clap, honestly, Donald. Just give him the slash team preview in the chat so he knows what we got in the back. That way he will just forfeit already. Holy shit, Joe, that is a level of disrespect I have never even considered, and I fucking love it. All right, so given the Protect, this must be like a flame orb gut set. Honestly, can be pretty threatening, but thankfully we have a bunch of fast mons that can do some big damage pretty easily. Goodbye, my fellow American. You served us well. 07's for the eagle. 07. Rest in peace. But anyway, yeah, Barack, I'm just going to let our Walmart brand Pikachu here take care of this parrot. 
Well, if he did his best, I guess. Honestly, not bad, considering how bad its special attack status. Yeah, and now we can reveal one of our heavy hitters here. Only a matter of time before the inevitable victory in game one here. Well played, Well, I Donald. hate to say it, but it's not always guaranteed. He still has an unknown Pokemon, and he still has the ability to Terra. So anything can happen. Ooh, Scoville, and yeah, this thing can run rampant if we aren't careful. Actually, Joe, I would have to disagree. This thing was a massive threat early on in the meta because it got the ability moody, but they actually banned that ability not too long ago, and suddenly this thing really isn't that good anymore. So yes, I think we have one. Yeah, it's over. Poison jab here. We will live any hit in case this doesn't kill or a Terra steals or something like that. Yeah, Terra fire, I don't care. We are still a Garchomp. And just like that, right in the potus, he takes game one, boys. All right, I still don't like that name, but whatever. Good job, Donald. It's my turn now. We are switching over to my screen. All right, dope, here we are. Time to search for game two. Again, viewers, if you're a fan of this sort of content, make sure to let us know by leaving a like and a subscription. We are still going to be doing Pokemon Emerald on a weekly basis, but we also just want to see what sort of other content we can do. This is tons of fun for us, so we hope you guys can enjoy it too. Yeah, anyway, Obama, this guy turned on the timer against you immediately. I think he means business. Oh, Donald, I am about to give this guy the business. Don't you worry about that. All right, so Espathra here is an incredible Pokemon, but without Calm Mind and Stored Power, its potential is a little bit wasted. I'm still going to hold on to it, though, for the future. I think Mellow Etta is a good switch in for now. All right, so Calm Mind here to take the hit and kill back with Hyper Voice. Mm, I could do that, Joe, but I think I'm just going to take the damage with Hyper Voice now. It might kill anyway. And if he goes for Psy Shock, then the special defense boost wouldn't do anything for us. I'm telling you, Calm Mind. Oof, not enough. Damn didn't kill. Told you so. I guess Calm Mind probably would have been the move, but I'm okay with that damage instead. Just gonna kill this guy off with a Psy Shock in case of a ghost type switch or something crazy. Nice way to think ahead, Barack. I think with the way you and I are playing, we should be able to make it to the top of the ladder in no time. Joe, are you going to sabotage our climb when it's your turn? Oh, fuck off, Donald. I literally just told Barack the correct play like five seconds ago. All right, calm ago. down, boys. I could go for the huge damage and maybe even kill with Focus Blast here, but I think I'm going to settle for the guaranteed damage with Hyper Voice here. Another situation where we are decently ahead. No need Agency to risk Dodge, it. Obama, good 95% accuracy miss feels bad, man. Yeah, now I'm taking advantage of that and going for the kill. I'm very surprised we hit that move. Hmm, Talonflame, huh? <laughs> I think I have to sack our girl here, not a super safe switch into anything. It could have Overheat and Brave Bird and Flare Blitz, all super hard hitting moves. Yeah, this guy can be a threat for sure. Gyarados can come in for free right now though, no? Obama, what the hell are you doing? Just send in the Gyarados. Sh shut your ass up, Trump. I'm trying to see if we would outspeed after a single Dragon Dance. It's super close. I think we would actually outspeed by a single point, but I think I'm still gonna hold on to the Gyarados here. He and Cloyster make amazing late game sweepers. So I'm gonna keep both of them healthy and decide later. Probably a safe call, Obama, I can respect it. Yeah, plus this piggy here has thick fat. So if he goes for a fire move, it won't do anything. Oof, noob alert. Big time, check this stuff, cheeks on the roost. It's just too easy, boys. It's just too easy. In his fucking head, Barack, you're balling out right now. I'm going to thief because we're in no danger whatsoever right now. And in case he switches, uh, maybe it would be nice to steal someone's item. Yeah, just style on this poser, Barack. This battle is over. 2-0 and oh, off the bat. I will lead us to that undefeated first episode for sure. Love to hear the confidence in your voice, Joe. It seems like this guy is just going to stall us out until he gets paralyzed. He's so far on the losing side of this battle, he doesn't even know. Body press on the roost just to assert your dominance, Obama. Nah, we have more body slams than he has roosts. No need to get too fancy. I just want to paralyze this thing so we can move on from it. Jesus, are we going to have to edit past this? What is going on? There we go, finally. Nah, it took us a second, but we finally got that 30% paralyzed. Now we just need him to get fully paralyzed one time, and we are chilling. Holy shit, he is still roosting. Ha ha, this guy is fumbling. He needs to just go for the damage while he still has the chance. Oh my god, dude, just get fully paralyzed already, please. 
Uh, that works too. He finally just went for the damage. Let's see who else he's got. Grimmsnarl, yeah, this thing isn't a threat at all either. He's more of just a screen setter, isn't he? Yeah, prankster screens and status moves, honestly, nothing threatening in itself. Got the paralysis immediately this time, even though it really doesn't matter. Dude just needs to forfeit already. Oh, there it is, GG Obama. Joe, let's see what you got. Yeah, good shit, Barry. Time to switch over to my screen. All right, here we go. Viewers, I hope you're enjoying this. Not only should it be entertaining, but possibly educational, as we are obviously the goats of Pokemon Showdown. All right, Joe, let's see you win a game first before you go all Pokemon challenges on us. Yeah, for real, Joe, I'd argue you have the worst team of any of us so far. So just focus on the battle. Come on, please. Brock, it's not the size of the battle or, or the uh, size of the dog in the uh, fight, but uh, the dog in the battle. Uh, wait, how does that quote Ladies go? and gentlemen, Again. the President of the United States of America. <laughs> All right, you know what? Screw both of you. I'm going to make this dude forfeit in like three minutes. I could have stayed in there and stuffed cheeks into body press, but I don't want to give him a free head smash for massive damage. Oof. This is as good of a time as any to bring in the Bronzong and get up my own stealth rocks. Greninja is a massive threat. Thankfully, Protein got nerfed this generation. Thankfully, you got the cum lord in the back Donald, to take that's the special us. hits. Yeah, easy switch on the dark pulse. If he stays in and flinches us, though, we could be in trouble. Yeah, that is some heavy damage. At least we know he's protein life orb. Vax Barak, as we climb the ladder, recognizing things like that is absolutely paramount in defeating high level Would you opponents. bozos calm down? This is still the lowest of the lows on the ladder. We will be fine. I kind of want to make a hard read and just go for gunk shot damage, but yeah, exactly. Drain Punch is safer considering the only two Pokemon we have seen so far. Good call, Joe. Ooh, and you're even rewarded with the poison touch that's huge for a tanky guy like that. Nice, Joe, way to play smart. Maybe I was underestimating your abilities. I think the three of us can actually make a good ladder run, and I'm excited for it. All right, thanks, Donald. Easy switch on the head smash here. I think my best play is to just go for the earthquake mid-ground in case he switches into Greninja on the iron head. Well, he's never going to hard switch into such an important but frail Pokemon like Greninja. But still, I can respect that play, Joe. I agree, Barack, but you never know with these 1,100 level players. That being said, earthquake and poison damage kills this guy anyway, so might as well. All right, so in comes the Greninja again, I'm sure. I think Bronzong here has probably outlived its usefulness, considering we already got the stealth rocks up. He never really gets to do much anyway, so this was a nice surprise. Best to just sack him off so we don't have to take damage on a switch. Joe, you are absolutely cooking right now. Thanks, Barry. I think it's nice to switch to Showdown after Emerald because it kind of forces us to actually turn on our brains. You know, Emerald can be mindless, but this is actually a 1v1 against other people, so it can actually require some focus. All right, this has got to be some invasion of the body snatcher shit. Who the fuck are you, and what did you do with Joe? Good one, Donald. Looks like this guy forgot about the protein nerf. In this generation, you only get the type switch after the first move you use until you switch out. So, even though he went for Hydro Pump, he stayed a Dark type. He would have been much better off going for Dark Pulse with the Stab and Flinch chance. Damn, going to Fortress on a Muck is wild. I'm pretty sure we can technically have Fire Punch in our moveset. I'm guessing he wants to rapid spin these rocks away. Okay, Fortress is pretty shit offensively, but you really don't have a great answer to it, honestly. What's the plan? Well, I think this is as good of a time as any to switch back into Piggy and Stuffed Cheeks, then Body Slam for Paralysis, and oop, well, never mind, he forfeited. That was a pretty short one, Joe. You want to take another one? Up to you. Say less, Barack. We're only like 14 minutes into recording. I'm definitely taking another one. The viewers deserve it. All right, let's get it done then, Joe. All right, here we go, and oh, shit. This is a terrifying lead. That thing is so broken. And we, on the other hand, have a fucking table made of ice. I'll admit, Donald, not the lead matchup I was hoping for. It looks like our Flareon here is Guts with a toxic orb. So I think I should just go ahead and switch her right in. Sheesh. Imagine getting a lead Magirna with spikes against an ice type. Couldn't be us. Blow this thing away, Joe. Hmm. What? No, do not hmm us, Joe. This thing is a huge threat. We need to take the kill if we exactly. have Exactly. It. It's a huge threat, and he knows that. No way he keeps it in. I'm going for the speed boost and sweeping oh, his yeah, team. Oh, yeah, no way he keeps it in. Yeah, huh? Joe, that was needlessly offensive. We had a solid kill there. Whatever this is fine. Who's the switch? Better hope it's not a scarfed water type. Jesus Whoa. Christ. Oh, fuck. A Kyogre and a Magirna. Who is this guy? Well, we outspeed and can do huge damage. So. Joe, no, he is definitely scarfed. He wouldn't have brought it in otherwise. Yeah, this guy is definitely hacking. Who gets two Ubers when our best Pokemon 
is an OnlyFans model. Donald, do not refer to Gardevoir as an OnlyFans model, please. What do you mean, Barack? I was talking about Ditto. All right, even worse. Hmm. Joe, that thing is definitely scarfed. Joe, just please don't try to be just a hero. Just quick attack for damage. We need to weaken that water spout. Now I got this shit in the bag. Check this 9,000 IQ play, boys. Joe, no! Joe, what the hell are you smoking? Oh, wait. Uh... Joe, you son of a bitch! Okay, honestly, I thought that even if it were scarfed, I would be faster and kill it with the Terra Guts boosted facade. Joe, are you blind? It says max speed 169. We see our base speed is 168. So obviously, if he is scarf, then he'd still be faster than us by a point. Wait, so he, they are always going to be the max speed, it says in the preview thing? Yes, Joe. Jesus Christ, Joe, you were doing so well, honestly, but now you are a noob to me once again. You should have quit while you were ahead. Hop off, Donald. You are getting me tilted. You said it yourself. This dude's team is already insane. You would be at a disadvantage Joe switch into... Come on, Joe. Focus on the battle. You could have switched into Ditto and slammed him with a scarf. Thunder in the rain. Gardevoir had Healing Wish, too. So we could have saved it to bring someone back in at God full damn health. it, you're right, Barack, my bad. Donald, please just let me focus on the game without making me focus on defending myself to you. This is a hard matchup. All right, you know what, Joe? Fine. I'm sorry if I distracted you. We are supposed to be a team here. Anyway, your remaining team isn't that good, but with a ditto, you can always make a comeback if your opponent is careless. Yeah, I hate to say it, but... Jesus Ditto Christ. might have to be the win con now. Nothing else really has good potential. This is already the most broken team I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I can tell I'm really getting tilted. Avalug isn't that good. I'm just going to throw him in there. Maybe we can kill with a body press. Good call, Joe. The nasty plot is fine since we live in attack thanks to Sturdy. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The infamous Sturdy actually being useful. Damn, that would have been super nice to kill, or at least to get it down to where it dies to life orb next turn. Well, actually, Joe, you might be able to get your scarf Ditto in now. Could be your best opportunity because of the nasty plot. Yeah, honestly, Joe, you're really playing from behind on this one. I'm not going to say it's entirely your fault because the matchup was pretty unforgiving. That being said, definitely a learning opportunity here. You rarely want to Terra as early as you did. Yeah, fair enough that in understanding the apparent speed of my opponents, I thought their speed just falls in the middle of those two numbers they give you. My bad on that one, guys. It's okay, Joe, it happens. Glad you know now. All right, I could go for the kill with Earthquake, but honestly, this is going to take a miracle from the ditto. So I think I have to set that miracle up with Stealth Rock and maybe kill with Earthquake if they miss the next Floor Cannon or something. Nice, Joe. You're seeing your possible outs. That's a good way to approach dire situations like these. Or a sphere that shouldn't kill. Nice, kill him with Earthquake. You are joking me. I just can't get a kill without getting them down to the red. Yeah, tough matchup. That crit on your Gardevoir was actually huge, and you aren't getting any rolls in your favor. Unfortunate battle all around Joe. Don't beat yourself up over it. Yeah, and now I can't bring in Ditto because of that stat changes, so he should be able to play around me pretty easily, since Ditto is my last Pokemon. Well, let's not give up here, Joe. There's a lot of RNG in Pokemon, so you never know. Honestly, Donald, you have a point. It really all depends on this next Pokemon. Hmm, okay. Well, honestly, I can just take his Draco Meteor. And if he doesn't have a Steel or Fairy type in the back, then I just need this kill and then two critical hits. I've seen it before, honestly. Not hopeless. Jesus. Yeah, that Super Fang miss doesn't actually mean anything besides just representing how this battle has been going for you. For real, Obama. All right, well, I'll give us like a 1% chance here. Yeah, it all depends on who he's got left. Lol. All right, and there's the fairy type, of course. All right, guys. Honestly, let me take just one more to end the video off on a good note. The first game was low-key lame. The second game was stupid as hell. I want to just play one good one. Yeah, it's whatever, Joe. We, we can use a little bit more video time anyway. Yeah, go for it. Joe, let's just focus up here and make it a good one. Last one, no matter what, though. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, so lead matchup, much less threatening this time, and my team is looking much more menacing. I'm feeling good about yeah, it. Yeah, he's definitely going for sticky webs here, which is pretty annoying. But you have two capable fire types. Might as well get one of them in now. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a good chance to get a substitute up with Salazzle. Great call, Joe. Cricketoon is literal trash. Any chance to set up against it should be taken. Yeah, and it gets circle throw, but that doesn't work against a substitute. What the fuck is this guy Oh, thinking? hell yeah, this guy just gave me the keys to his ladder points. Yum, yum. Yeah, this makes no sense. If he thought we were going for, like, a toxic read or something, then maybe. But our ability allows us to toxic steel types anyway. I think this guy's a novice. 
Yeah, no worries here. He might extreme speed here, but there's no way he switches out at like two health. So I'm just going to protect for leftovers. Oof, good read. Joe. You're shitting me. Yeah, Joe, hard to make reads when we don't know the caliber of the player we are up against. Also, Wug Trio is a massive threat in this meta. W what's the plan? Honestly, boys, this guy outspeeds and messes up my whole team. I think I'm going to tear a water and see if we can get a substitute up that can take a hit. Not a bad Terra, Joe, but maybe hold off on the substitute and oh, get shit. that Toxic off. Damn, you're right, Donald, because then I could have done some more Toxic Protect Stalling, because based on that damage, this thing is definitely banded. Yeah, Joe, these things are banded a lot of the time, but honestly, I don't hate getting that substitute up. It might inspire him to feel the need to stay in, and getting some Toxic damage rolling on this guy is massive. Probably the biggest threat to our team he has. All right, fair, yeah, I can for sure stall at least a few turns here. Our team is actually pretty incredible. It's just a shame he had a lead sticky webs and we have no way to get rid of it. That really hinders our team's overall potential. Shouldn't be a huge problem overall, Joe. This guy has been underwhelming at best. I'm glad you're focusing as well as you are here. I would have thought that last game would have gotten you tilted, but it seems you're able to go the other direction with it. Thanks, Donnie. We live a liquidation here, so I think I'm going to speed this up and go for a flamethrower. A little risky because of critical hits, but looks like it was fine. Yeah, honestly, I thought he might even switch because of the obvious protect and how quickly he was to switch out a Lucario at 5%. He clearly isn't afraid to switch around. But, oh, well, looks like I'll be going for a double protect here. Yeah, honestly, getting this double protect could be massive. Come on, baby, one time for the fans. Yeah, of course not, but whatever, at least he goes down too. Yeah, no big deal, that thing was a big threat and he's gone now. What's the switch in Joe? Hmm, yeah, it's gotta be the jugulus here. We aren't affected by the webs. And this choice spec set could obliterate anything. Nice, good read, Joe. Earth power might even kill this guy. Torkoal is physically defensive, not specially Damn, not defensive. quite. I thought it might kill too, honestly, but that's fine. Still a winning matchup for us. Yeah, Lava Plume did some damage, but we'll just get the kill and see what's next here. I don't know what he's waiting for. He's got to just sack this guy already. Oh, wow, he switches. Jesus, what is this guy on? Yeah, I don't know what he's thinking, but imagine if we had literally any hazards. He has three Pokemon in the red right now. Not a big deal, Joe. I'm not sure if he can tell your choice specs or not by now. Ooh, a Passimian. These guys are usually scarfed, if I remember, from last generation. Hmm, okay. Honestly, I have a lot of great Pokemon. I think I can still easily win without needing to switch around. I'm not going to complicate things on myself for no reason. I learned that from last game. Yeah, Joe just kind of got to ride this one out, I'm thinking. All right, so confirm okay, choice yeah. scarf into close combat. Fine with me, Iron Valiant comes in and claims a kill, as it does. This thing is a menace. Have you guys been watching any of the Scarlet and Violet draft leagues with like Pokey Aim and MV and all those guys? Yeah, I have been just a little bit. Watching them do the drafts is always so cool to me, especially with the new point system they've been implementing recently. Vax Plus, that battle between Joey and MV a couple of weekends ago was hilarious. The triple final gambit is the ultimate agency finesse. Yeah, I brought that up just because of how crazy Iron Valiant is in that meta. Anyway, just going to let him go down to Life Orb here. I think Pyroar should be able to sweep up these last two guys with ease. In fact, I'm just going to Hyper Voice so I don't risk missing the Fire Blast with my luck today. I'd probably miss two in a row and choke the game. Jesus Christ, okay, calm okay, down. Okay, okay, chill, Joe. It's not that serious. All right, my bad, my bad. Ooh, actually, Brick Break is surprising. Yeah, but thankfully, Cricketune has, like, negative BST, so I think we are okay. Yeah, confirmed win after the no crit here. And there it is. I swear I managed to get like every single enemy Pokemon to live in the red during my three battles. Oh, stop crying, Joe. You played more than Barack and me combined. Next time one of us is getting extra game time. I don't really mind, Donald. I'd prefer that we just have one person playing, but all three of us are coming to a consensus on the decisions we make during difficult battles. That being said, we still managed to go four and one during today's episode. Not flawless, but pretty much as close as we can get, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, sorry, boys. Thanks for being flexible with me getting a couple extra games in. I'll make sure to be patient with you guys, too. Looks like we ultimately climbed up to 1108E low today. Not too bad for day one. Yep, not a bad start. All right, boys, I'll send us off. Thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this pilot episode to our new series. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a subscription to show your support. If you didn't like it, leave a comment, 
and tell us why you aren't a fan. There will be highs and lows to this series, but we're going to see just how far we can get. It should be very exciting. Make sure to stay tuned for a highlight reel of the Emerald playthrough so far. That should be dropping tomorrow. We are also working on Episode 6 during all of this. So just bear with us while we get that one out. It's looking like it'll be a pretty fun one. With that in mind, thanks for sticking around until the end. If you got all the way here, tell us in the comments what your favorite flavor of Pop-Tart is. We'll know you're a real one if we see Pop-Tart flavors. All right. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out.